for the first time in his entire career, he's running behind a good offensive yes. line, and that is bearing fruit. I think when the season is all said and done, we're going to look up. We're going to have a 1,000-yard rusher. We're going to have at least 500 receiving yards, and we're going to have a ton of touchdowns. The one bet to rule them all for the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes. What would it be? I am going with Saquon Barkley, Offensive Player of the Year. And I understand that it's chalky, and I understand it is not super sexy because it's only plus 350, but Stormy. They are using him like he should have been used his entire career. And also, for the first time in his entire career, he's running behind a good offensive yes. line, and that is bearing fruit. He is in the, on the short season. He is leading the NFL in rushing yards. They're giving it to him in the red zone as well, so that's another really good sign. I was worried about the tush push and Jalen Hurts mm -hmm. you know, vulturing a ton of touchdowns from him. Not so far the case. They're trying to utilize him in the red zone. I think when the season is all said and done, we're going to look up. We're going to have a 1,000-yard rusher. We're going to have at least 500 receiving yards, and we're going to have a ton of touchdowns for Saquon Barkley. I like him offensive rookie, uh, offensive player of the year. Our, uh, our good friend Gil Alexander, host of a numbers game here on Visa, and was just looking at us through the glass a moment ago and, and judging us very harshly. Yeah. Um, he's very confused, as I'm sure a lot of you are at home. But my one bet to rule mm -hmm. them all is apparently not that sexy either because mm -hmm. I also like to see for <laughs> Barkley future. We were thinking very similarly in that. Uh, I looked at him for most rushing touchdowns in the NFL. It's yeah. four to one right now. Uh, he leads the NFL in rushing yards. He's tied for first in rushing touchdowns where we sit right now. And I was just looking at all of the other backs that are there at the top. In addition to everything you just said, you look at Alvin Kamara, who had the majority of those touchdowns in just a, mm -hmm. a single game. I'm not sure that's yeah. something that's going to be replicated particularly often. Uh, Henry, Derek Henry, Jonathan Taylor, James Cook, they all have have mobile quarterbacks as well who can kind of steal the share of a lot of those rushing touchdowns. Kyron Williams has a bad and injured offensive line. David Montgomery, there's a ton of weapons on that Lions team to have to share with. Um, that said, also, side note, nothing to do with the Eagles, mm -hmm. but as I was just examining that market, should Jaden Daniels really be 40 to 1 in it? I know. I know. I, know. I think it might be. <sighs> they don't want to give two awards, right? It's the problem. Like that, they they just don't want to give two awards to people, and so they're thinking that he's going to win Rookie of the Year, and so it's just like okay. you know, like it, I was just looking at that. I said that number seems people have a, a hard time. High. People for whatever reason, people have a hard time like heaping tons of praise on a player whether they deserve it or not. The next team we're mm -hmm. going to look at is the Houston Texans. What is your one bet? To rule them all. What is the precious? <laughs> the precious. Is, yeah, this one's kind of like this team, certainly. I mean, yeah, we might smeagle this team a little bit. Um, so I have them. I mean, this one is just chalk of all chalk. But to win the AFC South, you look how miserable that division is right now. It is a absolute dumpster fire. And I understand a lot of people don't want to put a minus 220 in their account. I would be fine with putting this, like pairing it up with your other favorite division winner as well to get it the number a little bit more palatable. But... I don't see any scenario that exists other than a long-term injury to C.J. Stroud that this Texans team does not win that division. Given the play that we've seen from the Jaguars, given the incredible inconsistent we, inconsistency we've seen from Anthony Richardson, I, it's, I, I don't see any way, shape, or form that they do not win this division again other than an, a serious, yeah. serious injury to C.J. Stroud. Bad division. That said, it also just sounds like you're touting what an amazingly large bankroll you have that you're so comfortable laying <laughs> minus 220. I said pair it up with another division <laughs> winner. All Thank right. you very All much. All right, fair. I'm going with Nico Collins to have the most receiving mm -hmm. yards in the National Football League. Five to one price right now. He currently has 50 more yards than any other wide receiver in the NFL. Uh, Go-to number one target for our guy CJ Stroud and just looking at some of the defenses that are on the schedule moving forward not exactly a gauntlet there are a couple of tough defenses yes they're mm -hmm. at New, uh, uh, New England they're at the Jets might run the ball at Dallas later on in the season instead of pass because we see how that looks so far. But that's really it. Like, there's mm -hmm. not a ton. And considering you've got a quarterback that's one of the best passers in the National Football League right now and you're his guy, I don't hate it. Can I do this? Can I do this next one? Because I know it's going to hurt you to lead off with, with this one. Can I do it? Can I do it? Fun. Can we go with the 49ers? The one bet <sighs> that you would make on the 49ers currently today as we sit here on Wednesday, September the 25th. I'm going to be very Samwise Gamgee about this, mm -hmm. that I'm just going to tr truck along and talk about the 49ers taking yeah. their 
under 10 and a half wins. See, That's this, the bet. It this has is the to thing. Be. You're not being a homer. This is what people tune in for. They want you to be honest about your true opinions, and you're doing that right now. It is soul-crushing to admit, but with all of the injuries that this team has right now, and to, you think about what happened this past weekend against the Rams, who are injured with less talent mm-hmm. and still find a way to come all the way back and beat you. It, it doesn't exactly give you a ton of confidence right now. And you take into account not only how injured this team is right now and for how long early on in the season are they going to get Christian McCaffrey back? And if he does come back, at what point? George Kittle, Brock Purdy now dealing with back soreness. Javon Hargrave is done for the season with a mm-hmm. torn bicep. Debo Samuel dealing with issues. The list goes on and on. Paired with the fact that they have that, what we talked about before the season even started, the rest advantage, disadvantage that they have for a huge chunk of the season against teams that we think are going to be hard to go up against. And I thought, too, whenever you kind of look at their schedule, some teams that we thought were just going to be guaranteed easy wins are no anymore. longer, right? Like, so the two games with Arizona that you everyone was just chalking up win-win, Arizona's got some life. And Arizona, by the time that they play them way out in week 18, who knows what that could possibly look like. And then, again, we go in Green Bay. Seattle looking much, much better. Do you want to go on the road to Tampa? They might be healthier by week 10 as well. So you just kind of have to take all of that into consideration because that was also – my bet here on the 49ers, which is the under 10 and a half wins, I just can't quite get there. I think best case scenario is 11. So if I think the best case scenario is them barely creeping over this, then I have to come in on the under. Okay, this next one, we are oppo on, which I love. <laughs> what is your one bet to rule them all on the ye ol' Pittsburgh Steelers? This Pittsburgh Steelers team is not making the playoffs Wrong. to miss the Wrong. playoffs plus 135. Wrong. Go and get it in the account. You heard it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand how they have started off. They have not looked impressive in starting off undefeated so far. And if you go in, and I keep going back to this whole schedule thing, Stormy, it gets very, very, very hard in the second half of the season for this team. Baltimore, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Kansas City, Cincinnati to end out the season starting in week 11. That's so funny because you know what teams don't look scary at all anymore? Don't you say it. Baltimore, Cleveland, Cincinnati. (laughs) By then, they're going to be good. Baltimore, I will say, yes. like They are good. They are legit. All of my preseason thoughts on Baltimore still exist, even with the slow start that they have had I do not like anything about the Cleveland Browns no me Just, neither no so me neither scrap those two but games see it's going to be the Jameis Winston led um d- uh, Cleveland Browns by then so do you like so them better you're telling then? me that the Steelers defense are going to get a lot of interceptions <laughs> so sounds good can do no I have been somebody that um has been and will continue to be buying up Pittsburgh Steelers stock I think all they needed this season was a quarterback who would do enough and not turn the football over to have success if their defense stays healthy. So that's all I'm asking for you, Justin Fields, or I guess Russell Wilson, have you ever come back? But yeah. it doesn't. I, if you're Mike Tomlin, you can't do that. Although he, we'll play the sound for you a little bit later. Tomlin playing the game still here with Russell Wilson, which yes. is has to be a move that you're exclusively making just to make him feel good about himself in the locker room because he's a veteran, right? Here's an even better. Here's an even better bet. Can I go ahead? Wait till What's they that? win this week against Indianapolis, and then bet them to miss the playoffs because that's the real bet. That's the real juicy number. Let's hit one more here, yes. real quick. Which 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 bet to rule them all? Do you want to touch on most here? Let's go with. I mean, you said you're down on Cincinnati, so I like this. Let's this we're we're very opposite on the. Actually, you know what? Both things could happen here. I, I went Burrow most passing yards in the NFL at 14 to one. The defense looks like it's going to be giving up a lot of points so far the, this season, and I can't see that changing a ton over the course of the year and so what happens when you get down stormy you got to pass all over the place plus he did get back t higgins last week so now he's back to having his big two guys there i think he's going to be forced into game scripts where he just has to throw 40 45 times a game and with that burrow could end up leading the league in passing yard. considering the zero and three start and the fact that one team in the last uh, one team since this century has began has actually mm-hmm. ma- made the playoffs 
after having that start, and it was the Houston Texans in 2018. And as I said yesterday, J.J. Watt ain't walking in that door. I am fading Cincinnati moving forward, which, let me tell you, pains me because I do have that Super Bowl future I won here at Circa, which is devastating. But I'm going under eight and a half wins for the Cincinnati Bengals. It doesn't look good, y'all. Thanks for watching, but don't let the betting insights end here. If you want an extra edge this football season, you can get a month of VEASAN Pro right now absolutely free. That means access to our betting insights, analysis, and tools like our betting splits at zero cost to you. Click the link in the description to sign up.